Chemical experiments, as we all know, can be very interesting and fun. But sometimes they can be dangerous. For the first experiment, we need some plastic soda bottles, which we have to fill halfway with water. The next thing that we need is calcium carbide. I bought mine from a local hardware store, but it can also be purchased online. Now calcium carbide on coming in contact with water releases a lot of acetylene gas, which is highly inflammable. And so, if we put a small amount of it inside the bottle which is half filled with water and close the cap, the gases release will create enough pressure to rip the bottle apart with a loud bang. Sometimes these bottles even turn into rockets. But most of the time, it ends with a bang. For the next experiment, we need some powdered sugar, a small amount of rust powder, which I collected by sanding an old piece of iron, and some potassium nitrate, which I purchased from Amazon. Now, if we mix 40% powdered sugar, and 60% potassium nitrate, we get a highly inflammable mixture. And if we add some rust powder to this mixture, the burn rate of this mixture increases even more. This mixture can be used to make homemade rockets, which can fly very high. And a similar composition can also be used to make homemade smoke bombs. Normally, when we hear the word metal, we think about something that is hard. But sodium metal here is different, as it is so soft that we can easily cut it with a knife. But softness is not the only thing that makes it different. This metal is also highly reactive. On coming in contact with water, sodium metal breaks the water molecules apart to release hydrogen gas. And the high temperature generated during this reaction ignites the hydrogen gas and causes explosion. The reaction becomes even more dangerous if we melt the sodium metal before dumping it into water. <laughs> <laughs> 